Okay, let's uh, continue our Earth Week coverage this week with our meteorologist, Jeff Ranieri. Hi, Jeff. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, tonight I really want to focus it in on sea level rise. We hear so much about sea level rise, but I really wanted to give you a glimpse into the future and what we could see happening here as we head throughout the next couple of decades. So I want to start it off here tonight, and we're going to show you what we can expect here as we head through the year 2040, and we would start to see those numbers going up, up over a half foot. Then once we get to 2060, we'd likely see it go up to about just over a foot. But where it gets dramatic is by the year 2100. We are talking about a sea level rise here that could go as high as over three feet. That is certainly a substantial number uh, and something that's going to set off a whole lot of impacts. But what would it mean specifically here for us in the Bay Area? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. And not only would it change the environment, how a lot of our animals, creatures throughout the Bay Area uh, live and survive, but this would also mean that some parts of the Bay would actually be underwater and maybe uninhabitable. On top of that, flooding more frequently. But with all of this, all of these impacts, the thing you can remember is we can mitigate this. We can lower those consequences by acting globally and lowering that carbon footprint. We've got solutions. We have more Earth uh, climate coverage at NBCBayArea.com. And again, lowering that carbon footprint, it's one way we can all come together and help to mitigate these consequences. All right, let's go ahead and get more details on your forecast here across the Bay Area and show you what we can expect here as we head through tomorrow's forecast and we are looking at a system dropping down here across the west. Now this uh, storm system here, it's going to be really hard for this to tap into any kind of major rainfall and I really think the best chances would remain off to the north and also to the east of us, but it is going to namely kick up the wind. I think that's going to be the biggest impact here as we head through tomorrow. So let's go ahead and bring it into the satellite radar picture. We've seen some rainfall off to the north and also to the east today. We've had the cloud cover, a few breaks of sun, uh, no rainfall coming down even by seven o'clock tomorrow morning. It's mainly just the fog. We'll see a little bit of sun trying to mix in and some drizzle at the coastline. Then what I want you to see is as we head through the afternoon right up towards Napa County, we'll likely get a little bit of rainfall developing here on the northern side of Napa County. And then by tomorrow afternoon and early evening around five and six o'clock, we may get a few showers here around Contra Costa Alameda counties around Brentwood Discovery, maybe close to Concord. Uh, towards Tracy and also Livermore. So it's not a whole lot, but we may get a few of these showers popping and uh, maybe even some isolated thunderstorms here throughout parts of the Central Valley. Then as we roll through this upcoming weekend, you can see how things will clear back, dry out, and we'll get some sunshine back for us. So just a few quick blips here on the radar when it comes to those rain chances tomorrow. But the wind, that's what I think may cause us problems here as we head through the afternoon up around 3, 4, and 5 o'clock. We're talking about wind gusts coming out of the north and the west, 20 to about 50 miles per hour, especially at the coastline and our beaches. That's where we do expect some of those strongest gusts. You can see that magenta color there uh, lining up with the key here at the top. Then as we head through Saturday's forecast, most of us calm down, although I still think it'll be breezy here at the beaches, anywhere 15 to about 25 miles per hour. Now we're not expecting high fire danger because of course we've had so much rainfall, at least over the past couple of months. Now if you're headed up to the Sierra, anywhere from one to four inches of snow tomorrow, so just be ready for some of those winter conditions up there. Otherwise, as we move through tomorrow morning's forecast with that cloud cover temperature starting it off here in the 50s, I don't have us down to 53 in San Francisco. Daytime highs on the cool side here. We're going to go through this pretty quick. Not too many changes throughout the bay. 65 in San Jose over to the East Bay, 67 in Concord up to the peninsula, 60 in San Mateo, San Francisco, 61 in downtown and for the North Bay, 67 in Sonoma. We will get into more comfortable temperatures next week. By Tuesday, we're up to 79 and likely some 70s here even into the following weekend on that seven day forecast. It stays windy at, in San Francisco, uh, but it'll be much calmer throughout the inland valleys with that sunshine. So uh, sea level rise that it really kind of always gets the big headlines uh, rise of over three feet by the year 2100. That that would be dramatic, but Coming together, lowering that carbon footprint, that is the number one way we can all help out. Good reminders. Thank you so much. Yeah, Jeff. thanks, Jeff. Sure.